Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about algebra in which we will talk about loss of exponents and this is part 2. Recently, we have uploaded the part 1 of this so you can see he it here or sa ating description box for you to watch the part 1. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the first example, 1, in which the given expression is x, y cubed over negative 5, x to the 4th power squared. So how are we going to simplify this kind of expression with exponents? So as you can see, we have here the exponents of, exponent of 2 outside the parentheses, meaning we need to multiply all the exponents of our bases inside this parentheses. Let's say for example here, in our variable x. So we will multiply the exponent of 2 here. It will become x raised to 1 times 2, that is x squared. For the y variable, we will also multiply its exponent. We have y raised to 3 times 2, that is equal to 6. Over this one, your coefficient here, which is negative 5, it also has the exponent of 1, so it will become negative 5 raised to 1 times 2, which is 2. So as you can see, your negative 5 now is raised by the second power. As for the variable z, copy z, then multiply the exponents 4 times 2. Okay, 4 times 2. That is c raised to 8. So, in this case, all we need to do is to get the square of negative 5. Remember, huh? when you're multiplying two negative numbers, it will give you a positive answer. So, we will copy x squared, followed by y squared, y raised to 6, over negative 5 squared is 25, z raised to 8. And this is now the answer for item number 1. So for the second example, we have here the quantity of 2a over b squared c cubed raised to negative 4. So kung ano notice nyo, the exponent here is negative. So our task here before we simplify the whole expression is that we need to make the exponent positive. So how are we going to do that? So you need to flip or get the reciprocal of this expression we're in. When we say the reciprocal, we need to interchange the position of your numerator and denominator. So it will go like this. Here, your denominator will become your new numerator. It will become b squared c cube over your numerator will become the denominator 2a and this exponent 4 negative 4 negative 4 will remain outside but it is now positive okay so same process with example number one we need to multiply or distribute the exponent outside the parentheses so we have here 4 times 2 that is b raised to 8 for the c variable c raised to 3 times 4 which is equal to 12 over your base 2 it has an exponent of 1 so that is 2 raised to 1 times 4 which is equal to 4 that is 2 raised to 4 for the variable a it also has the exponent of 1 1 times 4 that is a raised to 4 by the way guys if meron kang 2 raised to 4, that is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. You need to multiply your base 2 4 times itself. That's why 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16. So this will become b raised to 8, c raised to 12, over 2 raised to 4, which is 16, and then a raised to 4. And this is now the answer for number 2. Now guys, as our routine within our video, after the video, I want you to answer this one. 
Okay, I will give you an example or an activity wherein I will let you answer number three. For number three, this is number three. I will put it here. So number three. So for your activity three, you have to answer five x squared y raised to nine over z raised to 5 raised to the second power so i hope guys you learned something from this video so again if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit not in your bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me teacher gone marami marami salamat bye bye